Hey everyone, this is David from Toledo Antique and I'm here at Goodwill today. So let's go check it out. It's actually July 4th, so I'm surprised they're open, but let's go see what's in there. Come on. As you can see, it's the July 4th holiday. It's not a bad decanter. Looks like it had a stopper at one point. Not too bad for $2. I found something cool at Goodwill. Wow. Glaze bowls. Those are cool. Oh, look. It's an art glass hat. There's a vase. We have some little cherished teddies or something like that. It's an interesting bowl. Don't want to break it. Let's see. I'm a glassware person, so let's check glassware section. Hmm. Some pretty cool mugs. Pottery, art pottery mugs. Hmm. Those aren't bad. I might pick those up. I always like this color in glasses. I like this light blue. Could be Libby glass. <laughs> Some more pottery. I think this one's probably Libby Glass. Hmm. Some scotch, scotch glasses. Love Hawaii. So that's pretty cool. And then there's. Hmm. So that's sweet. Mexican style pottery there. There's some hand painted porcelain pieces. Those are kind of neat. Let's see. One dollar. Out of France. Those are cool. couple of different espresso mugs. I wonder where this one's made. Oh, in Greece. Greece style espresso cup. The things you find at Goodwill. Actually, I'm having a better experience here than usual. <laughs> Usually I don't find anything I like at Goodwill. So, I'm seeing things that I like. It's a nice frame, glass frame there. A lot of frames, if you need frames for your photographs. There's a pottery pitcher with grapes on it. Huh, looks like artisan, artisan pottery. That's kind of cool. And another little vase. I like that pattern on there. One dollar. One dollar for that. Not too bad. This is some made in Mexico glass. I need a fairy lamp. Let's see here. It's like a celery dish, porcelain celery dish. Little jewelry box. Your place to stash your jewelry. Oh, it's for a duck. That's interesting. Look at that. Oh, jeez, I almost broke the thing. What does that say? Pewter weighted. Huh. Let me check that out a little closer. Hmm. That's pewter? It doesn't look like pewter. I would not have guessed that's pewter. Sterling. Would have bought that for sure. This is an interesting piece. Avocado glass. Big, chunky avocado glass. Maybe that's for a margarita. It's so wide. You can drink a margarita out of that. Oh, look. A deer planter. From Taiwan. Hmm. This is the place.
planter section. If you like vintage planters, here's a place to find them. It's a wheelbarrow. This is kind of like large, large pottery. Looks like mass produced. And here is a goose planter. Still not seen any ferry lamps. That's what Alaska's like. Cruise ships and Shamu. Kind of neat. These um, I found some that had sterling on this edge. Those could be good. Little paperweight, glass paperweight. We got a beer stein. An elderly poodle might like that one. There's a little moose figurine. Hmm. Interesting mask. See, I'm seeing cooler stuff here than I usually see. But I figured I'd come look, see if I can find a fairy lamp or a bluebird of happiness. That's my goal in life nowadays. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Hmm. Pretty cute. Somebody liked the silver around the edge. Uh, so much glass. So much glass. Looks like an ornament. Missing an arm, though. She's missing her arm. Here's some colorful stuff. Got an owl. Blue and white owl. This is kind of neat. This is like an Avon bottle. A ship. A ship Avon bottle. Some figurines. You guys are going to be like, telling me what I missed, aren't you? Ooh. That'll spice up your life. Nice uh, gradient of green to clear on that one. And that's a vintage bottle. Save the forests. That's an interesting bowl. It's like uh, some kind of plastic, I think. down here. It's a kitten, a pigeon. Somebody's hiding that bird figurine back there, waiting for the half off day or something. These could be good. I have sold these before. Some of these are like a special type. Oh, but they got five dollars. They know they're good. There's a Parian, Parian porcelain. It's kind of that rough porcelain. It's like a Parian bust, potentially. Let's see. That's Handel and this is Hayden. Oh, the, the, the Immortals. Huh, pretty cool. Let me know if you see any fairy lamps. Let's see what's over here. A couple vintage toothpick holders. Those are cool. I wonder who made that. Some art glass, yellow and red art glass. Ooh. That's pretty. That's a pretty one. Let's see if you find any chips on that. Well, I think I should get that. I'm gonna see if they'll hold it for me since I don't have a card. Maybe I should get a card. <laughs> see, this is a good goodwill. Let's see what else they got. Hmm. Cut to clear, crew it. That's pretty cool. Little red jar. 
can make some jam in there. A little Easter bunny. Some cute things. Those are super fun. A little apple. You could give that to your teacher. This one could be Lennox back there. So that's fun. And then look at this kitten. It's got a pitcher. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's a creamer. Hmm. Not sure what that says. Oh, Avon. Avon. This one says one dollar for a floral plate. It's signed. Looks like it's signed Juanita Easley. I don't want to give this up. <laughs> don't want to set that down for too long. You might be missing it. Oh, let's see what is this. Huh. Made in China. Kind of reminds me of Frank Toma. Here, we have some vintage pottery. That's cool. Ooh, colors of the rainbow. Hmm. Hmm. Groovy. It's neato groovy kitsch. Look at this. Speckled art glass. Nice speckles on there. I was hoping for one dollar. <laughs> and then we have another cruet. A nice cruet here. Let's see that. Five dollars on that cruet. You know... Goodwill is very interesting how they do things. Got some crackle glass. <laughs> Purple crackle glass back there. Oh my goodness, what is this? What did I find here? Let's see, what is this? Two dollars on that. Huh. That's an interesting one. Let me go get my pink vase before somebody else buys it. Yeah. I'm gonna buy that. Well, let's see. See, I'm not prepared to buy things. Better go find a cart. Hmm. This is stuff that I'm usually not interested in. A nice mixer. Pots and pans, we'll have to look at those. Could be vintage. Ooh, look at those plates. Those are cute. I need to find a card. It's hard to hold a phone, find a card, and hold glassware at the same time. Hopefully I don't break it. Okay. Those are my pines for right now. See, it's all about the angle you take. When you're looking at things, you'll see things differently. You guys are seeing things differently probably from me. Kind of like that wood on the top. Good pots and pans, they can be a real find. Clear glass over here. That's some false graph there. It's just interesting, a jam and jelly jar. See, they piece this out, $3 each. It's pretty cute though, with the rooster on top. I just don't know if I can beat six dollars on that. I'm not sure if I'm that good of a salesman. <laughs> it's vintage, vintage, vintage toned. We'll call that one. Sometimes cake trays can be really good. Nice cake trays. This looks like Haviland, Limoges, France. What does that say? Can you guys see what that says? More like Austria. Teapots can be very good as well. You can find the right Sadler England teapot. Ooh, there it goes. There it goes. I like that glaze on this piece. It's like a sugar dish. You know, when you have nothing else to do on July 4th, just go to Goodwill. Huh. Just a bottle. Check this bottle. That's not bad for a dollar. Hmm. Take that. 
Now this stuff could be out of Portugal. Uh, you see, they put two dollars on each one. Sense of sabotage. See, it does say made in Portugal. Very peculiar cabbage plates. Somebody put this probably from an antique mall. What did they have on it? I wonder what they put on this. There's no tag. Let's see. Maybe they got a tag on this one. See, Goodwill didn't even put a tag on this. So, it's not 250. It was 250. Secla. Secla. S E C L A. And not all of them are in perfect condition. Oh, geez. Something's breaking over there. Wasn't me. Wasn't me. Let's see. These are like, these look like bone dishes. It's kind of like a bone dish. But that Portuguese stuff, I've had a lot of luck with that in the past. I'll say that. This one, oh, something on there. Okay, that's pretty cool. I do like the pattern on that. Sorry, sorry, I'm blocking you. <laughs> Just, you can come through if you want. I'll just uh, move my stuff. Oh, I'm just making a YouTube video. <laughs> yeah. You gotta make sure. Oh, looks like that comes off. But hopefully these are just a dollar each. Oh, I wonder. Looks like that could be for like a Lazy Susan. I'm interested to see how much they're gonna say those are because there's no price tag on them okay so this is what I found so far not too bad not too bad for Goodwill Misty is gonna be like where's that Goodwill at this is kind of interesting. It's like a little angel face. Hmm. Looks like a Nashville, Nashville bell. This clear stuff is very interesting because sometimes you'll find really good crystal among it. Um, but you gotta kind of look hard for that crystal. Sometimes they put the tag right over the marking, so and you can't see it. This is interesting. It's like a divided dish. They've got a couple pieces of this Fostoria American style glass. It's like a paperweight. All right, all right. Let's see. Where's the treasure at? Where is my treasure? Show me the treasure. This would be treasure, but the gear is broken. You've got a broken gear. You could cut yourself on that. You've got to be careful not to cut yourself on these little treasures. We got another cruet Christmas. It's a Christmas scene. Oh, Ruby Flash, Ruby Flash. Still looking for that fairy lamp. I might be looking for that fairy lamp all day. And the bird of happiness too. Let's see these lamps over here. This is the lamp section, so they could have a fairy lamp over here. Hmm. See, now this one could be crystal. I've seen like Waterford lamps like that before. Those can be big money, like 500 bucks. If you find a Waterford lamp. Hmm, not bad. Vintage 
flower night light. Looks like this is the night light section. There's a Singer sewing machine there. That's kind of cool. Gotta watch when you go over a bump. Shake all your glass up. Hmm. It's pretty nice. Nice milk glass piece. It's like a blue, a blue leaf. Kind of artistic. Goes with the July 4th holiday. It's glass, it's not plastic. Neat. All right, well, looks like maybe some Amish made stuff. Like, I think that's really good. It's just a little bit big for shipping, you know. So, you gotta be careful about that. There's a vase, some pottery. Ooh, toys. And then, got more toys. I don't usually sell a lot of toys, only when I come across a collection of them. And we still have some stife bears and things from my last estate sale. Cute face. Let's see what's over here. Oh, is this, this is like a, some kind of trunk, wooden trunk. Maybe dollhouse. Not that fashionable of a dollhouse. Can get a microscope. And then these toys are just kind of newer stuff, so not much that I know about. Well, I think I've looked at most of the glassware section, so I better get ready to check out. Thanks for watching. So I was just about to leave Goodwill, and then I saw there's more stuff back here. It's fancy, pretty fancy blue opalescent. And then I found this. Oh my goodness, this thing is massive. It's too big to even sell. Wow, major find at Goodwill today. Holy cow, it's marked 10 up here, 10 down here, maybe it's 20, I don't know. It doesn't even look like it's chipped. Holy cow. Oh, that's pretty. This thing is massive. Wow. Okay. Time to check out. Now that I made my find of the day. Let's back up so you can see that whole thing. 